Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to remap your Xbox One controller on your Windows 10 or 11 PC. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. So let's say you're playing games on your PC and you want to swap any of the buttons around to any other button. Well, this is very easy to do just on your Windows 10 or your Windows 11 PC. Let's go over to my desktop right now. I'll show you how to do this. Now in the bottom left, let's open up the Microsoft Store. Once we have this open up, search for this application, the Xbox Accessories Applications. Just type it in exactly like this in the search bar right here. And it should auto-populate at some point. And here it is. Go ahead and get this application and launch it. Now what you want to do is plug in your controller. Let me do that real quick. Now this will be very similar to how it is on your Xbox One console. Go to configure and select this. Now that we have our controller connected and you can go to the profile or make a new profile. So just for my default profile here, I'm going to go to the CRAN option and select this. And in the upper left, we can see a button and we can scroll through all the different buttons like the D-pad, um, the left stick click, right stick click, bumpers, right and left, Y buttons, and all the other face buttons. So we can select the button and then the option under it is map to. So we can map the A button and we can change this to the left bumper. And we can see it's switching on screen. So it's going to map the A button to the left bumper. So you can see it right here. That is now swapped around. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and revert this back to normal. You can swap the sticks around. So if you don't like the positions, if you wanna move and look around with a different stick than your default one, go ahead and try that one out. Otherwise, invert right stick to Y axis or invert left stick to Y axis. Swap the triggers around or completely turn off the vibrations. Then you can restore to defaults by selecting this. If you wanna go ahead and start over, then you can rename your profile by selecting this option. You can delete it or you can copy it. Now with your Xbox Elite controller, you are gonna have far more options than your standard Xbox controller. So you'll be able to customize the dead zones, the aim response curves, etc., stuff like that. So it's gonna be far more detailed. But if this video did indeed help you out, go and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on your six studios.